Paul Gauguin. Eugene Henry Paul Gauguin was a leading French post-impressionist artist who was not well appreciated until after his death. Gauguin was later recognized for his experimental use of colors and synthesis style that were distinguishedly different from the Impressionism. His work was influential to French avant-garde and many modern artists, such as Pablo Picasso and Henri Matisse. Gauguin's art became popular after his death, and many of his paintings were in the possession of Russian collector Sergei Shnutkin. I don't know how to pronounce that, so. He was an important figure in the symbolist movement as a painter, sculptor, printmaker, ceramicist, and writer. His bold experimentation with coloring led directly to the synthesis style of modern art, while his expression of the inherent meaning of the subject in his paintings, under the influence of the cloisonist style, paved the way to primitivism and the return to the pastoral. He was also an influential proponent of wood engraving and woodcut as an art form. In 1873, around the same time as he became a stockbroker, Gauguin began painting in his free time. His Parisian life centered on the 9th arrondissement. Gauguin lived at 21st Rue de la Bruyère. All around were the cafés frequented by the Impressionists. Gauguin also visited galleries frequently and purchased work by emerging artists. He formed a friendship with Pizarro and visited him on Sundays to paint in his garden, and Pizarro introduced him to various other artists. In 1877, Gauguin moved down market and across the river to the poorer, newer urban sprawls of Valguerard. Here, on the third floor of 8 Rue de Carcel, he had his first home in which he had a studio. He showed paintings in Impressionist exhibitions held in 1881 and 1882. Over two summer holidays, he painted with Pizarro and occasionally Paul Zizan. Under the influence of folk art and Japanese prints, Gauguin's work evolved towards cloisonism, a style given its name by the critic Edouard Dujardin in response to Emilie Bernard's method of painting with flat areas of color and bold outlines, which reminded Dujardin of the medieval cloisonné enameling technique. Gauguin was very appreciative of Bernard's art and of his daring with the employment of a style which suited Gauguin with his quest to express the essence of the objects in the, his art. Primitivism was an art movement of late 19th century painting and sculpture. Characterized by exaggerated body proportions, animal totems, geometric designs and stark contrast, the first artist to systematically use these effects and achieve broad public success was Paul Gauguin. The European cultural elites discovering the art of Africa, Micronesia, and Native Americans for the first time were fascinated, intrigued, and educated by the newness, wildness, and the stark power embodied in the art of those faraway places. Like Pablo Picasso in the early days of the 20th century, Gauguin was inspired and motivated by the raw power and simplicity of the so-called primitive art of those foreign cultures. Gauguin is also considered a post-impressionist painter. His bold, colorful, and design-oriented painting significantly, significantly influenced modern art. Artists and movements in the early 20th century Inspired by him include Vincent van Gogh, Henri Matisse, Pablo Picasso, George Braque, André Durain, Fauvism, Cubism, and Orphism, among others. Later, he influenced Arthur Frank Matthews and the American Arts and Crafts movement.